as you can see, I've done a bit more work on my terrace beds. That was the one I did last time. I've done this one since then, a lower one. And then I've got a set of steps and a pathway along the bottom. So you might remember that the upper terrace bed, I was just uh, thinking about whether to definitely put the hedge in. So I decided to put the hedge in. I've done a double row of hedging plants. And then I've got a middle terrace there below that, just next to the wall I found. And then I've built a set of steps and a pathway along the bottom. So there are my hedging saplings. I hope I haven't done them too close to the edge of the top terrace bed. And uh, over the next five years, I look forward to those taking shape and forming a thick hedge. So I've started up the other end from the left-hand side of the bank on my plot. Work my way through here. You can also see I've continued a little bit on the green grassy bank and then up towards the wall. So this will hopefully eventually within the next five years form a hedge that will stop some of the sound from the traffic and the fumes getting through. So the hedging saplings turn the corner here and go up towards the railway bridge wall. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with the lower terrace but there's quite a lot of space in there. This, these terraces will be in shade so most of the time they'll be, in the summer anyway, they'll be in dappled shade or quite deep shade. I'm not sure yet, I'll find out this year. So the bottom level terrace is a mini terrace. It's more like a pathway leading up to those steps. If you're wondering whether that rubbish is mine, no it's not, it's behind the next door's plot. There's the pathway and uh, a few simple bits of log that were lying around forming steps there to go up the side. And when you get to the top of the steps, you're at that terrace there, which is the top terrace. Now, I'm not intending to walk on that terrace. It's just for planting the hedge. That was the whole intention of this top terrace. What I have done though, is I've planted a few things along the bank so that members of the public can walk past and see something a bit more interesting. Some wild primulas, and I've replanted these blueberries that I found on the lower plot. I've also done a bit more work lower down on the plot, finally. I've dug out quite a long section here. A wide strip that leads up to the entrance. Here we can see a bit further back I'm stood. I can see a clear view of the terraces and the pathway and the steps, which uh, looks pretty good so far. Seems to be holding up. And as you can see, I've dug a strip of bed and pathway here. On the left of that post in the middle is a pathway between mine and my neighbour's plot. I've re-dug all that and then I've started to dig a metre wide bed from the back of the plot where the steps are to the front of the plot here. It's looking good from here so far but if we pan round to the rest of the plot still got a lot to do guys. I thought I'd show you some of the things I've dug up from the bank and from the uh, strip I dug this week. The usual suspects, carpet there. These thick underlay slabs. They were obviously used at one point to try to act as a weed barrier. And I found them underneath the pathway about three or four inches down. Here's a small sample of things I've found on that bank and in the strip of a bed that I just dug. Look at how much glass there is. These tubs are recycled, recycling bins, completely full up. One there, a smaller basket there, another one half full there. A basket of bottles. This is about the third load of bottles I've actually found from this 
site. And this is a small metal collection of what I found. Padlocks, mobile phone, other interesting items. That's metal work. Obviously I'm collecting all the plastic as I go and these bags here, compost bags, are literally full of items of plastic, anything that I found dug up. And as I say, I've already taken one van load to, two van loads, sorry, to the uh, local municipal tip. But I keep finding plastic and I keep finding it, I'm gonna put it in bags. This is still here, because I haven't needed to tidy this yet. I'm starting from the other end of the plot, which is over there and that section immediately in front of the steps. There's the bank, remember? There's one of the bird boxes. And here's this big, whatever it was, tool chest, basically still there. And then round here, we've got a second pile of metalwork that I found. All this found on the bank. I've got a second pile of um, concrete that I found. Everything I found as I've been going, digging it up, it's all here. This super-sized pallet I found in the uh, blackberry bushes when I first came to the site. I'm going to reuse that for fencing. Now I'm looking back down to the other end of the plot and it's beginning to take shape, slowly but surely, guys. Slowly but surely. So that's the terraced bank finished, all by the planting. And we come down in front and see the area that I'm digging for some of my beds. So let me take you back to the plan. This is the terraced area here that I prepared for the hedging. And this is the lower terrace. There's the trackside wall. That's the lower path and these are the steps. Down here where I've numbered these sections here to help me measure it out, pace it out, that's the pathway between mine and my neighbor's plot. So I've dug that and that's next to his shed. And I've dug this bed here and this section here. This bed is gonna be for currents uh, uh, this side, which won't get the uh, shade from the trees. And this bit will be experimental to see if anything can grow in the shady area. This section here is where it says in, that's the four meter square, two meters by two meters entrance to the whole of the plot. This area here where it says A for apple, that's where I've already dug up to two meters that comes next to the entrance. So I'll be having two apples there and an apple there. I have got a digging plan, which I'll try to show you now. So I've drawn up this digging plan and numbered different beds in sequence that I'm going to dig. I'm not going to dig the pathways to start with because I don't need to. That would just be wasting time and it's already uh, approaching the planting out season in the UK. So here's my sequence. This is the terrace area that I've prepared. There's the trackside wall, the lower terraces there and the pathway as well. Number one, that was the path between myself and my neighbor's plot and the shed is also over there. I've labeled that number one, I dug that through and I've also dug number two, which is the entrance, that's there, four square meters, and number three, which is the first bed on this side. I'm now going to turn my attention to this area here. This area is in shade and that's because I've already dug it. I've dug up to the first apple tree, up to seven meters in and I'm going to plant the other two apple trees in that area. Hi everyone, 
Welcome to Market Big Smoke. Thanks for joining me. Really appreciate it. Take two. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Market Big Smoke. Thanks for joining me. Really appreciate it. Well, as you can see, I've done a bit more work on the terrace beds. I've now got two terrace beds. I did a lower one down here, just above the wall that I found. And then I've got the pathway. Oops. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 